IHGN Studios. It's Braves Beat. Hello, Braves. It's just me, Griffin Wanker, all on my own today, trying to make an episode. Well, let's get into the news. Huh. Celebrated the day after Thanksgiving, the Native American Heritage Day is in honor of the Native Americans and all that they have done for our country. Although technically on Black Friday, this holiday is about the respect for what they have done for us as a country. <sighs> Here's your weekly reminder that the Smile Club needs everyone to donate plastic bags to turn into sleeping mats for the homeless. The drive will end in December and the collection will take place every Wednesday and Thursday. It takes a lot of bags to create one sleeping mat, so if everyone in the school donates just two to three bags, we can create mats for at least five homeless people this winter. If you have any questions, contact Vantita Rastitogi. The PACTs were yesterday and the freshmen skipped out. <laughs> Lucky them. Us sophomores and juniors tried our best though and made our school proud with some fantastic grades. The Taipei program takes place this summer from June 5th to June 20th. The deadline for applying is at the end of uh, January 2020. Check out the flyers posted around the school and the link in the description for more information. There is a recruitment meeting on December 4th from 6 to 7.30 p.m. in the multi-purpose room. If you have any interest in applying for this program, please see Mr. Domadeo. The first DECA mini event for the first year marketing students was held on Friday, November 22nd at Harrison High School. This was an optional event and the students who participated elected to do extra work to attend this event last Friday. Of the 17 students, Three earned trophies, but several others were very close. Awards were given to first, second, third place. Pranav Rostogi, first place in Principles of Finance. Ryan Ramaker, second place in Principles of Business Management. Bentley Dalton, third place in Automotive Services. Please congratulate the students for their work last Friday. Second. As the winter sports are beginning to face competition, the legend makers would like to remind everyone that they are in need of your help. In order for your sports and clubs to be well represented in this year's yearbook, they not only need content, but they also need your help with compiling it into pages. If you are passionate about your sport or club, consider taking pictures and posting them onto the legend makers app. Replay it. In addition, consider working with Mrs. Malakot and the other members to help write the story that went with this event. With this extra contribution, you will be ensuring that this year's yearbook and legend will be a success. Well, that's all the news I was able to get. Be sure to follow us on Twitter, subscribe to us on YouTube, and email us with any school updates. And uh, stay classy, Indian Hill. Eddie, Louisa, if you had a third arm, what would you do with it? I would, um, oh, I would eat a crab. Why would you eat a crab? Oh my. <laughs> What's up, guys? If you had a third arm, what would you do with it? Ooh, that's a good question. Probably hold more things. <laughs> uh, that's not exactly what I'd do. Ooh. Mary, if you had a third arm, what would you do with it? Uh, that's a great question. I would hit you with it. That's, that's rude. Up chair. Okay. All right, Mrs. Jackson, if you had a third arm, what would you use it for? Well, I'm always eating, so probably to eat or drink more oh coffee. God, me. That, or you could like <laughs> type and drink at the same time. Yeah, oh, be, I could just, be great. Yeah, just be more efficient. All right, thank you. <laughs> Lard, what do you have to show us today? Well, OK Boomer Fever, is sweeping the nation. And there's a really great New Yorker cartoon. <laughs> it's all about the OK Boomer craze. Really? OK Boomer, whatever you say.